everyone, this is Ginger from my sister's scrapper. I just want to share some little um, flower pot card slash tags that I created. Um, I got really inspired by uh, my local scrapbook store. There's one of the other instructors uh, had created a little mini album, and on the front cover of the little mini album, she had this little paper flower that she'd created. And I know there's tons of tutorials out there on YouTube about um, making paper flowers and rolled roses and all kinds of fabulous things, but I never really attempted it, but I kind of got inspired when I saw her little card. Um, she'd used the Cricut Flower Shop cartridge, which I don't have, but I do have um, an older one called Mother's Day Bouquet, and it had a lot of flowers on there. So what I did was I uh, went on YouTube and scoured YouTube and found some fabulous ideas. So I went ahead, and this is what I came up with. I cut all of my flowers out of solid white cardstock with the exception of this pink one. This one's cut out of um, solid pink cardstock. But the rest and the centers here are all cut out of craft. But the rest of the petals on all these flowers are all cut out of white cardstock and just inked. So what I did was I created a little flower pot um, from a piece of craft cardstock and I edged the front here and added some solid paper and I punched out a little label. I stamped the little label with the sister and then I cut around it and added that on some foam tape. And then I made it a pocket. So there's the back. Um, anyway, I made the flower pot a pocket and then inside the pocket is like a little tag and it can be used as a bookmark and it says Happy Mother's Day. So I'm going to give these to my mom and my sisters. I have a bunch, not moms, but sisters, uh, for Mother's Day. So um, this one I created using, um, again, these were all made with the Mother's Day bouquet, Cricut cartridge. It's, I think it came out a couple years ago. This one I used, again, solid white cardstock, and I got this really fabulous tool from um, Imagine S, and it's like got like a little um, slot on the end and um, a little uh, round ball point in the end so you can you know manipulate the flowers. So it just worked out really, really well. I was really pleased with how they came out. And then the leaves are all cut from the same cartridge as well. Um, so that's how I made this, this one, and then I have this little sunflower one right here. This one I did put some little stickles on the outside edges of it. And again, Happy Mother's Day. And then this one is the only one that's not out of the solid white cardstock. This one I just went ahead and cut it out of the hot pink cardstock, but I did ink the edges with, um, I think, more lipstick. And I put a little bling in the middle, and again, I stamped it. And then this one is a different uh, petal flower, but I went ahead and I used um, one, two, three, I used four. Some of the tutorials I saw used five layers, which um, there just wasn't a lot of difference in between, and so I kept it a little bit smaller and just did four. This one I edged in, uh, I think Fired Brick was on this one. This one is Spun Sugar, again the same type of flower, and I used that fabulous little tool from Imagine S. It's called a... Uh, I think it's a petal roller. I put a little bling in the middle on this one. And um, anyway, I had tons of fun one day. I just created, sat down and created a bunch of flowers. Here's a blue one. This is again another different petal flower. And I just cut them in different um, sizes and layered them on top. And again, they all say Happy Mother's Day. So this is what they're, this is their Mother's Day card for my sisters. And then I made this one. Um, my daughter in law really likes purple so I made the little purple one for her and it says so cute that's again another little stamp that I got out of the Michael's dollar bin and I stamped that on there popped it up on some thumb dots happy mother's day so that's my little flower pot card with a little tag on the inside and then I got so excited making these little um, daisy looking sunflower whatever things that I tried my attempt at um, to make a little rose. So again, I didn't have, um, I've seen them on YouTube where they use the, um, retro flower punch to make them. And it's a five petal punch that has like a rounded flower, but I don't have that punch. But I did again have the Mother's Day bouquet and it did have a five petal, uh, flower on there, but the petals were a little pointy on the end, but it still worked okay. Anyway, here's what I created. Again, these were all made with, um, white cardstock. This one I um, 
sprayed with Lindy Stamp Gang, I think it's cotton candy, and then I inked it after I sprayed it with sponge sugar distress ink and curled all the edges. Um, and then here's another one I did. And here's a little gold one I made. This one is, um, I sprayed this one also with um, a bit of bubbly, I think, after I inked it. But I did ink it with scattered, scattered straw, yeah. So there you go. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with these, but I thought they turned out really cute. Um, so they were really, really fun. They're kind of addicting. It was kind of fun to sit and play. And so you don't have to go out and buy um, all those cartridges. If you look at, you'd be surprised what you can use, um, which I already have. And that was what I wanted to do. So I used, again, the Cricut Mother's Day bouquet cartridge. And um, let's see. This is the flower I used for the roses right here. This one right here. And then um, this one I used for these. And then for my leaves, I used this right here. I know it kind of looks like a little star shape, but I used it as a leaf, and it just sits right on there pretty good. So there you have it, everybody. Those are my cute little Mother's Day flower pot card slash bookmarks for my sisters and my mom and my daughter-in-law. Thanks for watching. Bye.